Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Well, I'm out here in the middle of the dangerous heat. They were claiming that it's going to be up to 105 today. Well, it's about 80, which is actually pretty darn good. But it could get hotter this afternoon. Yesterday they said it was going to be uh, scorching hot and terrible and everybody's going to die. And It got up about 90 and rained a bit. So I think sometimes they lose their audience by making things sound a little too dramatic. It did make me look at their app that they had. You know, the, they sent out a weather warning that, oh my God, we're all going to die. And if I was trying to make a decision about whether I was going to go on a hike in the desert and somebody said it was going to get up really hot and people could die, I might think about it. But I'm in my backyard and I have an air-conditioned house about 100 feet that way. So we're going to go ahead and put up the tent today. If it gets hot, I'll go inside and get a cool drink. First thing I needed to do was to disassemble the end of this thing because I have to put the end panel on and those uh, the end panels have to loop around the frames so I've taken the bolts out temporarily and then I'm gonna put up the end panel After hundreds, maybe thousands of projects, I've finally learned to not say, this won't take long. So, I won't say it. Now I'm going to strap this down and get it tightened up so that I can pull those tarps. Now that I've got it threaded through the frame, I'm going to pull this tarp up tight. The first time I did this, I didn't do that. I left the ends loose, so everything was kind of loosey-goosey. They really didn't know what I was going to do as far as tightening anything up. But I think tightening up the end panel first and getting it lined up right would save a lot of trouble trying to get everything tucked in the way it's supposed to at the end of it. Well, I was putting the end panel up. The nylon strap that goes through the loop in the end of the tarp slipped out. So I ended up having to take a piece of PVC pipe and tape off the nylon strap to it so I could use it as a big darning needle and pull it down through the loop in the canvas. Worked pretty well. Kind of a pain in the neck having to do it though. through out again and release the latch take it around a full turn hook it into the hole there we go
I think some of the loop up near the top got torn. And when it got torn, it made that upper loop a lot bigger than what it used to be. Well, I do have to patch a hole. I've got a big gap at the bottom. And I think I can do something about that. I know Cedar started pulling the tarp up onto the tent shed when... Sorry about the noise there. That part of the video is normal speed. Those trees moving around and stuff falling down and things flying around, that's just the wind coming in. And it's not even started blowing yet. But it's high enough that I decided I wasn't going to put up the tarp right now. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.